the popularity of women's sports is exploding in this country. Attendance is up. The media is paying attention. Female superstars are signing endorsement contracts and appearing in television commercials. While young girls from Philadelphia to Seattle are wearing jerseys bearing the names of their favorite female sports heroes and dreaming that someday they might be professional athletes too. Seemingly overnight, the landscape has changed and now the dream is real. The ABL is at the pinnacle of this cultural phenomenon. It not only showcases the best women's basketball players in the world, but it offers them the opportunity to play at home and not overseas. The ABL was first. The ABL took the risk. The ABL made it happen. The ABL. The ABL. The ABL. Real basketball. Real players. As I, as I played ball as a youngster and in college and all, I, I dreamed. But I didn't see that dream because it didn't exist. I dreamed of a professional opportunity here. Then I had a chance to live this dream when we started this thing. And I saw it. I saw it for me. I saw women's professional basketball at its highest level. We have some of the greatest players in the world in the ABL. Great entertainment, um, high performance. We have all-stars on every single team. And I have gotten more compliments on how exciting the games are, how I've never stood up so much for a game and cheered so loud. I can't believe how fun it is to go to one of your games. And I think that's important. I mean, you want these people to come back. That You want them to have be in an atmosphere where they're excited, there's music playing. And, and I mean, these fans cheer for good play, not just for the home team, but they cheer for good play. And we've got incredible fans, but I think that's because we've got incredible players. I mean, people love to come and watch these guys play, and I think that these players have captured the hearts of America. Little girls can look on TV and see us now. They see the dream. Right now, we might just be playing basketball, but I think, you know, a few years from now, we're really going to look back on this and, and know that we've changed history. The ABL. The ABL. Real role models. You know, I, I think the ABL is pretty fortunate to have the opportunity to, you know, provide role models for these young kids today. I mean, like if you think four years ago, young kids didn't have a women's professional basketball league to go to, and I just think it's an awesome opportunity. I think another thing, too, is, I mean, if you think about when we were growing up, there were no women to really look up to and try to be like, so... You know, and you can't be one of the guys, so you really sometimes don't really fit in. So I think it's been a big motivation for, for me to be in that spot where I, I can be in a position that other girls look up to me and look up to us and want to fulfill their dreams. I think the most important part of the ABL is um, the interaction between the players and the fans. The fans are um, what really keeps us going out on the court, and that's how a league survives is to have, you know, great support in the communities and fans are what are what we really um, rely on. I think the league, that was their main focus and uh, I think that's why they picked the cities they did because it was cities that really wanted women's basketball there. It wasn't just throw them into an arena, it was in the cities that really would come out and watch us play. And something that we could get back to. Um, you know, I play for the Columbus Quest and we get out in the community, whether it be local schools, doing things with the city. It's, it's fun. It's fun because you feel more of a part of the city and then when they come and support you, they feel more a part of what you do. That's why I get the joy of doing all I can do for this league. Laying this foundation is very important. Not, not for just here and now, but for the future of the game. ABL. The ABL. The ABL. Real commitment. The ABL is a very special type of professional organization. I believe that it's different from um, a lot of professional sports right now. I think it's very grassroots. It begins with the fan and the player and it's a very special interaction. It's a very special thing to be a part of. I think it's great that the ABL started out sort of as a grassroots organization because we have fans that come in every state. They come and they are true basketball fans. They come to support women's basketball and they're true to every home team. Our target audience consists primarily of today's most important consumer group, women. And, and also there's so much room um, for growth. I think women's basketball is, is really picking up and really beginning to to get going and yet we believe that you know there are so many fans out there that just don't know their fans yet and all we have to do we feel is just get them to come to 
to one game to two games, and they're going to be hooked. League attendance is up 21% over last season, and I think it's only going to continue to get better. We continue to work and, and strive and continue to do our part in the communities and also wherever we go to promote this league. Last year, when I heard that 540 women paid their own way to a tryout for the ABL, I knew this was more than a game. This is a movement. It's like I said before, women need the opportunity to play in the United States, and, and the returns are there if you, if you invest in it. Reebok chose to be with the ABL based on a sound business strategy that they had been working on, a lot of research that had gone into it, and we felt very comfortable with the homework that they had done. It's a great way for us to promote our brand as well as to uh, get the word out to our target audience of women and kids. You see a lot of women and kids at the games, and that's encouraging for us as, as a manufacturer of products supporting our brand. We see little kids, we see older people coming out. It's just some place you can take your kids and have a good time. For us, the corporate sponsorship is all about driving business and building our brand, and we would not be engaged with the ABL if we didn't think that we were enhancing our brand image and that we weren't driving business. I think corporations uh, could consider the ABL to be a great teammate because of the talent that we have. I think our product speaks for itself. Reebok and the ABL are dedicated to the future of women's basketball. At Phoenix, we believe very strongly in the ABL. It is here to stay. The ABL. The ABL. The ABL. You know, I think the ABL is a good investment. No, Ann. I know it is a great investment. You're right, Teresa. <laughs>